tengo la duda, estoy confuso al respecto, pero yo creo recordar que era Amy Cuddy quien dio una charla a TED Amy Cuddy, sí, sí. acerca de sí, sí, sí. el poder de eh, la postura de Superman, ¿no? de ponerse con los brazos en jarra, sí. el pecho hinchado para tener un boost de confianza sí. antes de una reunión de trabajo, hablar en público, etc. Es especialmente interesante porque nos muestra realmente cómo viejas y viejas estas expresiones de poder son. Esta expresión, que es expression which is known as pride, uh, Jessica Tracy has studied, she shows that people who are born with sight and people who are congenitally blind do this when they win at a physical competition. So when they cross the finish line and they've won, it doesn't matter if they've never seen anyone do it, they do this. So the arms up in the V, the chin is slightly lifted. Amy Cuddy, Jab y Courtney, en el año 2000, no, sí. hicieron este estudio en donde llegaron a conclusiones para mí brutales. Entonces, ellos, eh, eh, Amy y, y su equipo, lo que nos viene a, a, a decir es que si nosotros generamos entre dos y tres minutos de una postura empoderada, podemos llegar a modificar nuestras hormonas. Llegan a aumentar eh, la testosterona un 20% en nuestro torrente sanguíneo y a descender un 25% el cortisol, que es la hormona del estrés. Lo que encontramos es que los hombres de alfa males en primates hierarquías tienen baja testosterona y baja cortisol. Y los líderes poderosos y efectivos también tienen baja testosterona y baja cortisol. So, It seems that our nonverbals do govern how we think and feel about ourselves. So it's not just others, but it's also ourselves. Also, our bodies change our minds. But the next question, of course, is: Can power posing for a few minutes really change your life in, in me? En tres minutos. Es decir, yo por irme a un espejo en un baño antes de de hacer una ponencia y generar una postura empoderada, ¿no? De, de eh, brazos en jarra, elevar la barbilla, sacar pecho, abrir la, las piernas y eh, tirarme allí así tres minutos, hace que mi cortisol baje. Que para mí es lo potente, ¿no? Que el cortisol baje un 25%. Okay, so this is what you do when you go in for the job interview, right? You know, so we were of course horrified and uh, said, oh my God, no, 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 that's not what we meant at all for a new, numerous reasons. No, 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 don't do that. Again, this is not about you talking to other people, it's you talking to yourself. What do you do before you go into a job interview? You do this. Right? You're sitting down, you're looking at your iPhone or your Android, not trying to leave anyone out. Um, you are, you know, you're looking at your notes, you're hunching up, making yourself small. When, so this really spikes your cortisol. So we have this evidence, both that the body can shape the mind, at least at the facial level, um, and also that role changes can shape the mind. So what happens, okay, you take a role change, um, what happens if you do that at a really minimal level, like this tiny manipulation, this tiny intervention, tiny tweaks, can lead to big changes. So this is two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Before you go into the next stressful evaluative situation, for two minutes, try doing this in the elevator, in a bathroom stall, at your desk behind closed doors. That's what you want to do. Get, configure your brain to cope the best in that situation. I, I want to say to you, don't fake it till you make it. Fake it till you become it. You know, it's not do it enough until you actually become it and internalize. Yo una de las posturas, de hecho tengo una fotografía antes de salir del escenario de la charla TED. Cuando me estaban presentando yo estaba como si fuera Wonder Woman, tal cual, porque me estaba empoderando a la hora de salir. Necesitaba bajar el cortisol y me fue muy bien. Me fue extremadamente bien. Get your testosterone up, get your cortisol down. Don't leave that situation feeling like, oh, I didn't show them who I am. Leave that situation feeling like, oh, I really feel like I got to say who I am and show who I am. So I want to ask you first, you know, both to try power posing and also I want to ask you to share this science because this is simple. I don't have ego involved in this. <laughs> Give it away, like share it with people because the people who can use it the most are the ones with no resources and no technology and no status and no power. Give it to them because they can do it in private. They need their bodies, privacy and two minutes and it can significantly change the outcomes of their life. Thank you.